Well, this is a 1980 so for National. You veterans of the Great Star Eagle 40 B7. I bought from Nebraska in 07. So we've been working on it since 08. And uh, it's totally restored now. We finished it uh, last winter. It was the rear ends that we just finished last year. So basically, I've uh, been working on it since 08. Uh, we kind of had it finished for two years, and we finished off the back end. And it is done from top to bottom. So this is a 400 BCAM 1 that's been rebuilt. It's got a 13 speed overdrive transmission been rebuilt. Uh, the rear ends are 373s. We just finished this winter. Uh, the interior has been totally redone. Uh, back to where it used to be. All new gauges. Uh, we did air ride, suspension. So we've done um, numerous upgrades that you wouldn't get from the factory that are on the truck right now but haven't taken away from the originality of the truck. Just to make it a better riding truck so I can actually take it to uh, shows a little further. This year I will be going to the US to some shows outside of Canada. Now that I've driven the truck enough here, I um, have full faith in all the work we've done so I can trust it to go uh, the distance now. Um, so the trailer is a 1988 Tempty that we bought two years ago from uh, Seville, Ohio. And uh, this past winter we had restored it, so we had uh, did all the brakes, did all the airlines, and then we painted it in October. And my friend Ron Gibbs out of Burlington that does lettering and airbrushing, he, uh, he lettered uh, the whole trailer. Actually, all the Tempty signs on the back are all hand-painted, they're not stickers. Uh, we're just trying to keep what used to be done in the late 70s, 80s, which was all hand-painting, no stickers. So, I try to also keep that originality with uh, the way we uh, rebuild our trucks. So yeah, uh, basically just a lot of help with a lot of people at work and family and um, you know we've been taking it around the last couple of years right now and people have been very happy with uh, our work and uh, they've been really enjoyed uh, at the shows talking to people and going over their history with the truck and their families and it seems that uh, everybody we come in contact uh, has had something to do with this truck, whether it's their uncle, father, grandfather, uh, brothers, everybody has something to do with this Transstar so it's pretty unique but pretty awesome to come here and have uh, something to talk about with pretty much everybody that comes to the show. We spent a lot of time on it, that's for sure, eight years. Uh, and it's turned out, uh, I think, better than I could imagine. Uh, I did actually, the way we stretch the truck and the work that's done to the truck, it be similar to what I would probably order. If I could order this truck brand new, then I've kind of built it the way I would have ordered it. Uh, with the motor transmission, the spread on it, the wheels, the paint job, the exhaust, uh, the lights, interior. Pretty much just built it exactly the way I would love to order it if you could order it today, which I would love to order a brand new one today, but uh, not possible. Um, and we're working on uh, a slab cab 1980 just like this one right now that's going to be its brother uh, so we'll have that ready for next uh, next summer so again I think uh, we'll pique a lot of interest with a lot of people when they see that slab cab because it's just something you definitely don't see uh, in Ontario and there's really not many around anymore so uh, we're really anxious to get that one out here for next year uh, and share that with everybody and I mean that's really while we're doing this too is to share with everybody so that's half uh, half the fun of doing this is to come out here, talk to people, the stories, and people appreciate what you've done is, is probably the biggest pain you can get from doing such uh, such a project. <laughs>